Guys, we are here at the American Legion Post 110 in Port Charlotte, and it's been the same story, of course. Many people displaced, many people don't even have electricity or a hot meal. Well, here they're trying to change that, and they've actually been giving out different meals. Now, this is the brisket meal, but they also have pulled pork, hamburgers, and hot dogs. When I was speaking with the coordinators, they say they average around 800 meals a day. They have been out here all week and plan on continuing until all the power is back on in the area. While I've been out here, I have been sitting down and speaking with people in the community. And of course, the people here are going through so much and many of them didn't want to go on camera. However, when speaking with them, many of them just tells me that they are just tired and they want to get past the storm. The coordinators of the event is hoping a hot meal will give them a sense of normalcy. A, I'm a smorgasbord. They come here a little down, but you know what? Before they leave, they got a smile on their face and a full belly. Um, you always know you want to improve morale, fill somebody's stomach, improves their morale. To help the folks get back to some semblance of normalcy, because for the next six months to two years, folks' lives are not going to be normal. There's going to be an uphill battle to get work, to get construction, to get labor. Now, if you are fortunate to have any non-perishable items, you can actually donate them right here at the American Legion Post 110 in Port Charlotte. In Port Charlotte, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.